Speaking to me now is Nathan Thunderthorley. Uh, Nathan, uh, next week in Merthyr, you've got a, a massive fight coming up. Can you tell us about it? Okay, yeah. Um, against Paddy McDonough, the, um, the Irish champion. Um, he's won 11, lost two. He's a tough opponent. He's, um, he's going to come to win. Um, I've been training extremely hard for this fight. I'm looking forward to it. and I, can't wait. I just can't wait to get in now. I'm itch itch just itching to get in the ring. For people who might not have watched uh, Paddy Box before, what was his strengths and weaknesses? Um, I'd say he's a very strong. He's a very strong come forward fighter. Um, he's gonna. I think he's gonna come forward all night. Um, I think he carries a little bit of power. You know, he's quite strong. He's quite explosive. Um, so it's it's gonna be a cracking fight. We both we both carry power. So I think it's one of those fights where whoever lands first is could go. <laughs> um, are, are you gonna be looking at the box in this guy, or have you got a get set game plan going into this fight? Yeah, my game plan is to win, as, as you know. Um, no, but me and Gary, we've been working on a, quite a few things, quite a lot of things. Um, and hopefully, come come the night, they, they, they could, well, they happen and, and stuff. Stuff, well, what was I going to say? It, it all falls into place, is what I should say. And um, it, we don't end up going to 10 rounds. So, we just, we just see what happens on a night. But if, if I have to box him for 10 rounds, I'm, I'm more than capable to box his head off for 10 rounds. Uh, you've been working with uh, Gary Lockett now for uh, quite a while, well, re re relatively no, a, few, a few months, six months or so. Um, what's it like working with Gary? What's he changed in your game, do you think? Um, he's changed quite a lot. Um, I'm not so tall with my stance now. Everything's a lot tighter. Um, I'm, I feel like I'm more powerful, more explosive with my punches. Um, my old man hadn't seen me spar for probably the best part of a year. Um, come up the other week to watch me spar and if I'm honest he said he said he shit himself how, how, how good and how devastating I looked so I'm looking forward to showing what me and Gary have been working on in the gym. I remember Gary telling me um, one of the things that really surprised him about you when he first started training you was the power you had he didn't expect to be such a powerful boxer. Yeah you know as, as a lot of people know I do carry a lot I do carry a bit of power like and I think the way we're training now with Gary and the way he's got me holding myself and my stance and the way I'm throwing punches, I think my power has gone up to another level and it's just more explosive now. And of course, I, I presume it helps having such um, good gym mates. You've got a really quality gym there with a lot of really good guys. Yeah, do you know what? It's probably the best atmosphere that I've, I've, ever, I've ever had in a gym. There's some cracking fighters, Alex Hughes, Chris Jenkins, you know, Jacob Meredith that are on tonight, Reese Edwards. We you know, we have we are laughing all the way through, you know, but when it's time to work, it's we all work hard and we all we all knuckle down and, and put the work in that needs to be done. And it's just a cracking gym to be part of. Um, I know it's always dangerous to look past an opponent, but um, presuming you win next week, uh, where, where where's next for you in your boxing career? Um, you know, I'm not looking past Paddy because he's a tough, a tough opponent. Um, I'd like to fight like the Australian number one. I think it's Damien something or um, or the one Boatsy just stopped, that Reynold Quinlan. Possibly because I, I think the Commonwealth title's vacant. I don't see why why I can't fight one of these boys for that for that title. Like you know, it's it's a it's a great opportunity for me. I'd, I'd go to Australia to fight. I don't. I'd, I'd go anywhere to fight. You know, and I'm, I'd happily take either of them on. And. Um According to the, the box rec and official rankings, you are now creeping up the uh, the levels to the, the the British top ten. I mean, does that inspire you as well? Yeah, you know, look, well, I, I want to do one step at a time. I'm I'm in no rush. You know, I'm I'm only 25. Um, I'm hoping come the end of the year, have an have an eliminator, maybe two eliminators by the end of the year, and then go into 2020 looking at British titles and 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 being able to fight for the British title with. With Gary in my corner, I think I'm more than capable of, of winning our British title. Okay, Nathan, uh, thanks for talking to me and um, good luck next week. No worries, how are you, Rescue? Cheers, mate.